What are some of the most uh, prevailing election postponement theories or ideas right now that are floating around? Um, so I have a few that I put together. Uh, these are five of them. Uh, going to the more extreme, to the more plausible. And this is a requested video uh, from Daniel. Uh, thanks for the request. I hope everything is well. And uh, so we'll start at number five. The, the fifth one that's probably the most extreme that I could think of uh, that I hear going around, especially on forums, is going to be the uh, the enactment of the Georgia Guidestones. Um, if you're not familiar with that, just look it up, and uh, you'll see that uh, uh, has to do with a, a very large reduction of the population, uh, a culling of the population, if they say. And uh, it says uh, basically uh, something's going to happen pretty massively, and it kind of seems like it points toward uh, a major uh, pandemic, uh, probably an artificially man-made pandemic. Uh, of the nature that they're talking about because uh, at least 90% of the world would be uh, extinguished and uh, just uh, totally destroyed. Uh, so you know, this is a, this is a possibility, um, uh, very unlikely. In fact, all these, I do not personally believe that will happen. Uh, this is just for good fun and, uh, and this is just uh, things that people talk about. Uh, and so, uh, so I'm talking about it too. And uh, so yes, uh, the Georgia Guidestones uh, would be enacted and uh, the population would be, I mean, utterly destroyed. Uh, just those who are, were, were sheltered, uh, maybe who had the, uh, the antibodies uh, that were possibly immune to this, uh, this plague or uh, pandemic that would be saved. And so that would pretty much wipe out any possibilities uh, for an election. Uh, number four, and this is going to be of course, we're counting down to the number one. Uh, this is going to be race wars uh, here in the United States. Uh, an internal civil war uh, is stoked uh, by uh, media and the uh, Obama's administration uh, to, uh, to create an inner uh, civil war between Latinos, blacks, and whites uh, to the point that the elections are not able to proceed. Uh, this would um, either push uh, Obama into... Uh, another term uh, through maybe emergency powers um, or uh, if the Constitution is still being uh, adhered to uh, the vice president would be the president uh, potentially until uh, the civil war or the uh, conflict uh, subsided uh, but nonetheless though the people who are still in power are still in power okay number three in the countdown is is that one of the candidates is killed before the elections. And, uh, and this is a, a planned play to delay the elections uh, to reorganize the, uh, the power structure uh, or to extend Obama's reign. Uh, there's a lot of talk about that. Even some people say that there's a, if it's not even uh, a, a ploy to kill, it's, it's setting them up so uh, that maybe one of them is already terminal. Maybe, for example, because Hillary's been acting so erratic, uh, not, not that Trump is like this uh, wonderfully uh, uh, calm person that says lots of uh, uh, unpsychopathic, you know, things, you know, that he's... <laughs> He's very, uh, he's very out there, in my opinion, too. Uh, but Hillary's been having all kinds of, um, of problems. Uh, needs, needs a lot of help getting upstairs, uh, having uh, very odd gestures uh, that's been found on, you know, recorded and on film and stuff. And so uh, that's just um, another, another small uh, theory that she's very ill and that she's actually, um, you know, dealing with Parkinson's and the, or the advent of it. And because of that, um, uh, that this is done on purpose, that they're, the doctors are just overlooking that and say, oh, she's got a clean bill of health, uh, but she may not last to the end of the election. Or if she does, she may not live very long in the presidency. Uh, therefore, um, this will allow a, a change of power. So whoever her vice president in, her vice president, excuse me, is going to be a very crucial possibility of of contenders. A lot of people don't give uh, the vice president very much thought. They always focus on the president when there's an election. But uh, I think in this case, we need to really look real hard at Hillary's vice president pick. And because, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's always the possibility that he could be the president too. Okay, in countdown here to the number two, 
uh, heading toward number one. It's going to be a national uh, false flag event, uh, which creates a state of emergency, actually a, a national state of emergency, if you will. Uh, Obama stays in power, uh, dictates via uh, fiat powers through continuity of government, through homeland security, uh, martial law, uh, which is unconstitutional in its true you know, form. Any kind of suspension of, uh, you know, of the Constitution or habeas corpus is really not Constitution. Uh, there's a little bit of a, okay, there's a law, okay, that's called Habeas Corpus Suspension Act. It was done in 1863, and this uh, allows uh, the president to delay or indefinitely suspend um, uh, various types of, uh, uh, of actual civil liberties, um, uh, to some degree. Now, you know, Lincoln uh, did this during the Civil War for a small period of time. It's kind of controversial about all this. Uh, but, you know, but all the scholars say this is unconstitutional. Um, so under these, um, in this state of emergency, uh, con by Congress or by his executive ac action of habeas corpus suspension, um, you could actually have a, a pretty, pretty uh, nasty looking uh, type of outcome here. Uh, definitely would suspend the elections as well. And uh, this would probably lead, lead possibly to the patriots of the country uh, fighting the government over this. Um, so there could be a, an internal civil war that could come from something like this uh, over time. Now, the number one thing that I think is the most likely, even though, I, once again, just to make sure I you know, everybody knows this is not a fear-mongering video. Uh, this is just for fun. Uh, that, because there's a lot of people who do take my videos very seriously, and I, I do appreciate that because for the most part, about 95% of what I do is serious, uh, but this is just for fun. Uh, this is the number one most likely thing that in my mind, this was one of mine that I picked, uh, is the, uh, the North Korea's Kim Jong-un uh, detonates an EMP over our country, uh, over the mid part of our country and creates a national state of emergency. In fact, there's actually a, a satellite that he has in orbit that we don't even know what payload is in there. At least they don't tell the civilians. They might know, but uh, they're saying that, you know, openly, though, that they don't know exactly what's in this payload. And uh, it could be a, an EMP bomb or a nuclear bomb. And so if this was detonated, this would cause a national state of emergency, it suspends all the election processes, possibly indefinitely, uh, because the infrastructure would be knocked out so horribly all through North America. Uh, or at least of, of you know big portions of North America that it could take many many years uh, to get even back to uh, to where we are now. It could be two to five years on average. So that's just that's just what I think it could be probably the most logical. Um, but once again, that's probably fairly remote um, because I think that you know we would still have capabilities, obviously. And you know if if we kind of I'm sure we could you know Intel could figure that out after even a you know, few weeks to a month or so, they would probably, okay, you know, figure this out and they go over there and probably would nuke him. I would imagine, I would hope that they would just go over there and, and, uh, and of course, we would probably have to have some type of retaliation. So we'd probably just blow off uh, North Korea off the map. I mean, I would, I'm, just, I'm just speculating. Uh, <clears throat> if not that, um, because I don't think that would really solve any of the problems personally. Uh, why would you want to kill all those innocent people? So I'm totally against that. Uh, but I would think that at the very minimum, we would send, uh, you know, sniper teams in there and take out the whole regime, not just Kim Jong-un. I would imagine the entire party or, uh, and it may be hundreds of people, but I think that we would have the capabilities if we ever focused on that, uh, just to keep, uh, you know, more, more of this terror, uh, from happening to other countries and so forth. So anyway, those are my top five, five for Daniel, uh, prevailing election postponement theories, uh, extreme to the plausible if you if you will and uh hey thanks for watching thanks for the request daniel you guys take care catch you later